Now to the 2024 elections today. County election officials started mailing out ballots for California's primary election on March 5th. Right now, offices are busy preparing for voters by running accuracy tests and putting sample ballots through tabulators to make sure every vote is counted. And starting tomorrow, ballot drop boxes, they will be open for those who are very eager to turn in their ballots. If you have not yet registered to vote, you have until February 20th to do so. Again, February 20th. And one thing on the ballot for the March 5th primary will be voting for Sacramento's next mayor. Six candidates are running, and current mayor Daryl Steinberg is not seeking re-election. And unless one candidate gets more than 50% of the vote, the top two vote-getters will advance to the general election in November. Becca Habegger spoke with all six candidates, and tonight we hear their thoughts on the homelessness crisis. Six Sacramento mayoral candidates qualified for the March 5th ballot. Jose Antonio Avina II is a captain in the U.S. Marine Corps and personal trainer. Dr. Flo Kofer is an epidemiologist, a public health professional, and has served on various city and county committees and boards. Julius Engel is an asset protection manager. He previously worked as an attorney but was disbarred in 2020 for professional misconduct, including failing to perform with competence and unauthorized practice of law. Steve Hansen is a small business owner and former Sacramento City Council Council member representing the Central City and Land Park for two terms before current council member Katie Valenzuela defeated him. Kevin McCarty is a state assembly member representing Sacramento, a position he has held for nearly a decade. Prior to that, he spent about 10 years serving as a Sacramento City Council member. Dr. Richard Pan is a pediatrician, educator, small business owner, and former state senator and assembly member, representing the Sacramento area until 2022 when he hit the maximum term limit for a state lawmaker. Voters and ABC 10 have asked them what they would do as mayor to address the homelessness crisis. We need to be able to set up safe ground all around town where people can ha have some temporary shelter and also a place to be able to triage and get them into additional services they may need. And then we need to find some of the low cost options to be able to A, keep people housed. We also need to make sure we can get people into some of the housing that's available, whether that's helping with down payments or whether that's turning some of our local hotels and motels where people are going for a few days already into long-term shelter. We have to be compassionate and coordinate with the county or social service providers and everyone else. But we also have to be firm and enforce the law. Drug dealing, stealing, hurting other people is not okay in our city. And I was a kid who was homeless on and off for a period of time. I saw a lot of adversity. And so I know that we can do both. But we have to show our neighborhoods that we care about them just as much as we're trying to help people who are less fortunate. We need to have more uh, temporary shelter sites like at Cal Expo where I wrote a law having, you know, tiny homes there or, you know, the city courtyards or under Caltrans facilities. You know, we need to get people off the streets today. It may not be a perfect solution, but I'm looking for practical solutions where people can have water and bathrooms and trash cans and some services and then we focus on our permanent solutions. We need to First, be sure people who are at risk of being unhoused or who have recently become homeless, get them housed quickly. The, those are the folks who are actually going to be the easiest to approach. But for them to succeed, we have to be sure we provide them the supports they need. That includes mental health, substance use, help. Now, those are actually funded by the county. Uh, so that we need the county and the city to work together and making that happen. We pay so much in taxes and we're wondering what is going on? Like, where is that money going to? I blame those in charge and I want to hold them accountable. If you are down in your luck, come here and we will take care of you. We will do everything in our power to make sure that you have a house, you have food, and then you have uh, clothing, and then you have an ability to get back in there into the community and work again. So now we have District Attorney Ho, who I didn't support at first, but I do now because he's performing, he's doing things. Okay, and uh, Jimmy Cooper, the sheriff. Yeah, I remember I always supported him. You like me, Mayor, that's a triad. The three of us of the same mind, I will join Ho and Cooper to resolve that problem. And we want to help you feel informed and confident as you vote for the next mayor of Sacramento. So over the next two nights, we will hear from all six candidates on other important topics, including crime and affordable housing. So make sure you stay with us.